By leveraging the power of augmented reality, the EOS Remote app goes to the next level with the new Focus One feature. Let's learn what is required to set up and take advantage of this powerful new Remote Focus tool. So we're here in our space now, and I've printed out our AR targets that Nick gave us on our thumb drive earlier. Uh, I printed these on cardstock, but you could also print them out on regular paper or heavy-duty paper attached to masonite so that it might last a little bit longer, whatever works for you in your space. So I'm going to go ahead and place this here on our stage in exactly the same place that Nick put it in our model. I want to make sure that's lined up as closely as I can. I've already placed the second AR target that Nick put in the model back here behind the crate. So this one is useful because it's out of view of our audience, and I can leave it there all the time. The reason I've spiked this one is because I can use it for focus and rehearsals, but I'll need to take that away for performances. Now that we have our AR targets in the correct location in the space, we're going to open up our app and see how that can help us. So this is an app available on iPhone or Android. So I have an iPhone here, so I have the iRFR app on Android. It's called ARFR. So I'm going to go ahead and open up my app here. And under the ML controls tab on the app, if I go to our new wand function over here, we can see that the camera opens up. And the first thing I need to do is scan in to our system. So I'm going to come down here and scan our AR target. And you'll see we get a blue pin there. The arrow at the top is indicating the top of the target, which also has an arrow. So we know we're in the right orientation. And what this allows me to do now is I can look up into my rig and the software is going to put a bounding box on all of the lights in my rig. I can select them here, so I'm going to grab 102 and 104. And I can also deselect fixtures here. I can double tap to only select one fixture, just like in the software, uh, etc. So I've got 102 and 104 selected. So from here, I can swipe up or down for intensity. So I'm going to swipe down to turn those off. I can swipe up on the phone to turn those back on. I can zoom out if my fixtures have a zoom parameter and zoom in using the phone. I can also use the full IRFR functionality as well. I can change to any other menus, control their color, their gobo, etc. I'm going to go back to our wand. And with those fixtures selected, notice at the bottom I have wand chosen. I can point these fixtures and hold that button. And I can use this like a laser pointer to move the fixtures around in my space. I can also set a height. So if I set it on this box here and I need to hit somebody up on top of the box, I can set my focus height over here. I'm going to say about eight feet since those boxes are tall and I want to hit a person standing on the box. And now when I move it, when I put it at the bottom of the box, it's at that height. We can see the shadow on the wall of someone standing at that microphone. The other great feature on here is the find me feature. So I can choose that and press the button and that is going to point the lights at the phone. The Find Me feature will always go directly to the phone, not utilizing the focus height. So if you want to focus it on your head, you might have to hold the phone up a little bit higher. For an object on the ground, you can hold it down a little bit lower. Sometimes it may be necessary to rescan your phone. AR drift can happen uh, over time, or depending if your phone is moved quickly. So I'm going to go ahead and shake the phone to show that as an illustration. And now the target isn't quite where it was before, starting to get off there. So we can simply come in here and rescan to sync that back up. Another function we can do with the remote is to drop reference points into our space that we can use later while we're back at our console. So to do that, I'm going to press this button here down in the corner. I'm going to create a new reference point and press OK. That will drop a cube into our model that we have the ability to move around and focus lights on. Hey, Rob, can you just drop a reference point where scenery said that chair is going to be? Sure thing. So our props department told me this chair was going to be right over here. So I'm going to put this a little bit lower. And drop that in. And now Nick will be able to place the chair in the model in the right spot. 